About 20 years I've been here. I've got two arches and a wee cafe, and it's my livelihood. Well, I have to go in the brew. I'll need to get the, the brew the unemployment. They'll need to pay my mortgage, they'll need to pay me to live, me and my family. Well, there is drug problems at the top of the lane and the bottom of the lane coming from Hope House, the hostel, who houses all the junkies, who the councillors put in there. The councillors have the first floor in that that uh, hostel to put all the people who can't be housed anywhere else. They put them there, so they're trading outside each, the lanes. They come into the lanes, ask the police, ask anybody who backs us up, they'll verify. There's no, street, there's no a trader in this market who deals in drugs, or who allows drugs to be pushed anywhere near their markets. Just have a look about. The police will tell them, they'll, they'll tell them, we give them 100% cooperation. It's outside each end of the market, not in the market. It's a shame because there is an awful lot of nice people down here, customers that look forward to coming down here, spend time, talk to us all and everything. So it's just a right downer about it. I'd need to go and sign on, and they'll ask me what I've done for the past 20 odd year. I'm not qualified to do anything else. Can't work computers. So that's it. Right, we were talking about the market shutting and the reasons for the market shutting and I was speaking to my mum who's 73 and uh, we are going about that it's partly because of the crime statistics and all the criminals and the criminal element in the market but they're, they're not within the market. So in the process of the conversation with mothers like that, I mean what are they going on about closing the market because of the criminal element and all the drugs? If that's the case they should just close the whole of Scotland. It's everywhere, not just in the market, but the council just seem to be picking on us. I've been coming here with my, when my mother was alive since I was about four or five years old. I love it. You can get anything here, it's a bargain. Everybody's that nice to you as well. You know, but Paddy's Market's never done really anybody any harm. You know, like you say, there's good people here, there's honest people here. You can get the, the drug dealers and all that type of thing, but that's you not know, the, the traders' fault. I'd be very sad to see it go high. I think it's really, it's basically just the Glasgow City Council. You know, they've taken their time about it, it's been here for oh, a long, long time, right? And then all of a sudden, because these Commonwealth Games are coming in and all this type of thing, they've decided that we'll get rid of it. You know, basically that's it. They're just trying to, they're trying Glasgow something that's just no. It's supposed to be Glasgow the happy city, you know, that of a smiling city. Glasgow smiles better. It'll be, smiles different if they take away paddies. It's all fresh over there now. Well, I suppose they're all kind of lonely people because Nobody else wants them because they're in that condition, a lot of them. We've got a kind of rapport with them. Uh, I don't think anybody else seems to have. They don't bother us to the extent that we don't, a lot of other people would be annoyed with them. But we're not annoyed with them and we kind of help them. We have a laugh with them because some of them are good characters. I think that's why they keep floating back and forward and they're not here all the time. For years they've done it. Do you know what I mean? So they're, they're not annoying us really, and the, the customers know them at all. So it's, it's like an institution here, you know the customers, and you know all the hawkers, and the, the, the customers like to come down if they've got any worries and sit and talk about their worries and all that, maybe sit for half an hour and sit and get a cup of tea. I don't think they'll have anywhere to go because Glasgow's getting too posh now. They'll be through a side anyway, like, as usual, make their problem worse. They come from to here all, all over the world, so they do. America, Canada, Australia, 
mention that I've all been here. It's so it's cheap. A lot of people, a lot of people don't grab it, turn turns too dear. But as I say, it's, it's changing every year, but what can you do? The people have come here for years. So we like to some people. I can do my job, just sort of it mean him every day. Get it out of the house. As I say, it's, it's this guy up the council, he's about a vampire. He, he's never been down here, I just passed by in the bus. No, it's not right. It's established since it's part of Glasgow. Part of Glasgow's heritage and part of the Glasgow people. Merchant City, isn't it? That's just new. That's kind of yuppish. But this is the people's place. So you wouldn't really show the people's palace are in London because it's heritage. So why show the people's market there? Extremely sad. You can see it's busy and it's a much needed commodity in the city centre. Where else are they going to get something for 50 pence? A jacket for a pound? They're not going to get these bargains anywhere else in Glasgow. They're not going to recreate paddies. They'll never recreate it. Ah, have you heard the news? It's going run. It's devastating. Guys, get in. Have you heard the news? It's going run. They're closing Paddy's market. The market's been there many a year where everyone can buy cheap gear, all serve with banter and good cheer. Oh, that's Paddy's market. The city council, they're so vain, they're throwing our history down the drain. They'll never see the likes again, the likes of Paddy's market. The pensioners are devastation, screw right and aerial frustration. Where can we go nowadays and pay 50 pence for our clays? Through two world wars and an exhibition never altered its tradition. New some Kinsler we ambition are closing Paddy's market. Aye. That's what I got the name Paddy's Market for that. That was a way back in the eighteen that's uh, two, nearly two hundred years ago. But uh, you see it wasn't it this bit? It was about our, our suicide that started. We're only here 73 years. So when my grandfather came over, he came off about here. The boats used to come in there. They were all this side of the water at the time. And the people all left their bundles down. See, so thinking what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. We're in Glasgow now. And uh, people come down and say, do you sell anything here? I said, what is it? But all that much stuff. He said, I'll get them a few bob for their dinner. So they end up selling me bits and pieces, and that's how the brigade started. Oh, doing here and off. And that's how it began, the brigade began. All the Irish selling their stuff. I'll tell you one thing, they want to open it again. They won't not send them away into school without plays. And the bombing haven't got the money now. And what we're on the new this recession, it's going to be worse. It's going to, definitely going to be worse. All of this, the, I thought they, they nailed with the heads right enough. It's a damn disgrace. It's a culture taken away. It's a culture taken off the people. If we're hailing claims, to a Glasgow claims. 
I'm still coming down. Part of my life here. I was, I, I was born in Brigitte. I was born over there. Some place says so it was. This, this area is going to be a ghost town. It'll be a ghost town. Thank you.